Have you ever seen a calculator? Yes, we aren't talking about the differences between levels and curves. Just hang in right there. Have you ever seen a regular calculator? Looks something like this, right? Now, have you also seen a scientific calculator? Looks like this. Now, what are the similarities? Number one, both are calculators. Number two, both do mathematics. What are the differences? This one is easy to use. The regular calculator is something which all of us can use in our day-to-day -day life. Simple addition, subtraction, multiplication, straight out of the box, very simple to use. The scientific calculator as well, that needs some getting used to. Number two, if you wanna perform advanced mathematical operations, you cannot use the regular calculator. You have to use the scientific calculators. And that's all there is, the differences between levels and curves. Levels is the regular calculator and curves is the scientific calculator. We can also state that a regular calculator is a limited variation of a scientific calculator, right? It's a limited form of scientific calculator. Now let's have a look at this image. If we go ahead and add a curves adjustment layer, let's go ahead and add a curves adjustment layer. And if the curve was limited, right? If you can only move in certain directions, it would be equivalent to levels. Let's have a look at this. Let's move this slider. What does this slider do? This makes the dark areas darker, right? Now let's add a levels adjustment layer. Similarly, this slider makes the dark areas darker. The same thing, right? Let's come back to the curves. This one makes the bright areas brighter. Similarly, in levels, pretty much the same thing. But what about the midtones? If you take a point here, if you make sure the input is 128, which is the middle of 0 to 255, let's set this, let's type it in properly 128. Whoops, not 9, 8. Now if you move it left or right, let's move it left, take this and move it left. It makes it brighter, it makes the midtones brighter. If you move it to the right, it makes the midtones darker. Similarly, if you come to the levels, move it to the left, it makes the midtones brighter it makes the midtones darker. It's the same thing. Let's reset that. Click on this button to reset it. Now let's have a look at different colors. If you go back to this one, let's choose red, right? It does the same thing, makes it more cyan-ish. Let's come to levels and let's choose reds, makes it more cyan-ish. And that's how all the sliders match between curves and levels. Now let me show you one more interesting stuff. If you come back to RGB and if you move these sliders at the bottom, Okay, this one makes the dark areas brighter. This one makes the bright areas darker. Similarly, if you come back to the curves, if you move it top and bottom, vertically, this one, let's just delete the middle one. This one makes the dark areas brighter and this one makes the bright areas darker. Very similar to that. Now the biggest question is, which one to use and when? And the biggest answer is, it totally depends on what you want to use and what do you want to use it for? So if you're in levels, okay, and you simply want to expand the dynamic range, here's what you would do. Hold the alter option, click on this button and drag it to the left. See, we are seeing some artifacts. Just stop in the, right there. And there you go, before, after. You have increased the dynamic range and that's how we work. And that's all you wanted to add if you just wanted to increase the dynamic range. It's very simple to use. now. Here's number one point. Levels is very simple to use. Suppose you wanted to add a blue tint to the shadows, you would go to blues and just probably increase it just like this and work on it. And that's pretty much done. You don't have to learn the theory of curves and all that stuff. It's very easy to use. And you can also choose gray point, white point, black point. This also has all the three eyedropper tools as curves. Now, why do you use curves? Now let me tell you something which is a very important statement and listen to this carefully. There is nothing in levels which cannot be done in curves. So everything that you can do in levels can be achieved by using curves. But there are certain things in curves which cannot be achieved using levels. For example, there's this very nice tool in here, the hand tool. Just click on in right there. Suppose you want to brighten the skin, so click and drag it up. Suppose you want to darken this area, click and drag it down. And that's done. Now, this is a simple S curve. You can add more points to that. For example, you want to 
darken up this area pretty little bit so we darkened up the highlights suppose you wanted to take this down just a little bit and there you go you can play with that you can add multiple points and this is not possible in levels so that's all there is the differences between levels and curves just remember levels is the regular calculator and curves is the scientific calculator and you'll remember all of it so that's pretty much it for this video hope you liked this and if you did make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing i would like to take this moment to thank all these nice people for making this episode possible and helping keep fix and perfect free for everybody forever thank you so much guys i'll see you guys in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating